Hi and welcome. In this video, you will learn how to recover a deleted table record of a SQL database. This video is a continuation of my previous video or I can say this is part 2 of my previous video where I have explained how to restore database to a specific point in time. Okay. You can find this video in the card section over here. Also, I will leave a link in the description. You can watch it from there. And if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon over here to get notified of the upcoming videos. Let us start our video with a illustration. In this illustration, we will understand our problem statement. After this illustration, I will explain you using a demo. Okay, so let us consider a database db123 and I have inserted two records. After inserting two records, I have taken a full backup and then I insert two more records and then I take a differential backup. Then after I insert another two more records, record 5 and record 6 and then I am going to delete record 4 transaction. Here I perform total three transactions, two insert and then one delete. Then I take a log backup. So my log backup would contain two insert statements and one delete statement. Okay. After this, I am going to insert two more records into the database or a table and then I perform another log backup. Okay. Now you got a request to restore this deleted transaction. So you will perform your restore starting with the full backup then differential till here you will have all the four records then if you want to restore this log backup you have to restore to a specific point in time this we have seen in our previous video if you are not doing point in time restore you just you simply go ahead and restore this log backup you will have all the six records except this record four because record four will be deleted after your this log backup restore. Then after you restore log 2 and you get 7 and 8 record but no 4th record. So my requirement is I have to restore all the 8 records including this deleted transaction which is record 4. And I explained in my previous video how to get this deleted record. You have to do specific point in time while restoring this log backup. We have to stop this log backup to a specific point in time. That means if you know the time you can specify the time where you want to stop the restore operation of this log backup and then you will get your deleted record. So till here it is fine and we have already seen this how to get these 6 records. But after this I inserted 2 more records record 7 and record 8. How to get these records into my database? You may say that I have to restore this log to backup. No, but that is not a case because here you are going to miss a deleted transaction. Every transaction has a log sequence number that has to match with the next transaction. If I try to restore this log to backup, I will have a lesson mismatch because the previous transaction I have not yet restored, which is a deleted transaction. So the problem statement is how do I restore these two records without getting a lesson mismatch and and point two is if you are doing point in time restore and if you are not sure about the timing when this delete transaction has happened then how do you proceed with the point in time restore ok so I will show you this using a demo ok here is my instance and I have few sample databases here as an example I am taking this database db123 Okay, and I am going to create a table with name test the table is created so you can see there is no data inside this table first as explained in the illustration I am going to insert Two records and then I will take a full backup. Then after I insert 
3 and 4 and take a differential backup you can see the contents in this video there will be 4 records ok now next operation is I am going to insert 2 more records record 5 and record 6 ok and now you see there are total 6 records now what I am going to do I am going to perform a delete operation of this record after deleting this fourth record I will take a log backup ok let me execute this delete statement the record is deleted ok you can see the table records now I have only 5 records record 4 is deleted now I will take a log backup log 1 ok then after I am going to insert 2 more records record 7 and record 8 ok then I will perform second log backup now you can verify the contents inside the table I have total 7 records record 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7 and 8 record 4 is deleted ok now I got a request to restore the deleted record record 4 I have to restore so for that I will perform the restoration the specific point in time restore let me start with the full backup first so here I have to use with move option because the MDF and LDF file locations will point to the same path I am going to restore the database with a temporary name I mean db underscore db123 underscore temp restoring full backup it has been restored then after differential backup cannot access the path one second then this is the differential backup oh oh sorry so I have taken transaction log backup so I have mentioned diff, uh, name as differential but I have taken a transaction log backup I think I have mentioned dot trn yes dot trn I have mentioned so no issues we can make use of that uh, transaction log backup while restoration so where it is instead of bak I have to use trn completed now you have to restore your next transaction log backup this one but you are not sure about the time when the delete transaction has happened if you know the time you can simply go ahead by using this command which is your point in time recovery and you can restore your deleted record but here I don't know the time when the record has been deleted so how do I restore the deleted transaction so here we will make use of system built in function fn underscore dblog this function is used to view the content of the active portion of the file and you here you need to pass start and end of the lsn since i am not aware of it i am passing null values so where operation equal to delete rows so if it is a insert operation i have to specify insert if it is a update statement i have to mention modify okay the output of this function will have 129 columns but I don't want all those columns so my specific columns are this one current lsn number transaction id operation context and allocation unit name and execute this statement you can see the result set here it has given you a transaction id and delete rows operation and on which table it has been deleted so we have deleted 
it on the test table okay so you can also add one more filter here you can mention your table name so that you are so particular about your table okay so this is your table and this is a transaction id and sometimes you will be uh, able to see the same transaction id for all the rows it means all deleted rows are showing deleted because the action has been performed in a single batch okay so here in this result set it did not give you time when the record has been deleted it just gave you the transaction id so copy this transaction id and put this transaction id here and execute the statement here it will give you the date and time it will give you the timestamp when this delete transaction has happened it will tell you the current lsn number with the transaction id also and the operation name it's a delete statement so using this function you will be able to know when the transaction has been deleted so now it's very easy you can restore your log backup till this point point of time or you can make use of this lsn number and restore your transaction log back so i am going with lsn number to restore my log backup so here you cannot directly use this lsn number with stop before mark you have to convert this hexadecimal number into decimal format and further there is a small procedure how do you convert it so this is your lsn number which is in hexadecimal format so this is total three parts part a part b and part c for this part a if you convert this into a decimal format the value is 46 for part b the value is 448 and for part c the value is 1 now take the part a as it is 46 and then the part b will be of 10 digits since we have three digits already take seven leading zeros and part b will be total five digits since we have uh, one take four leading zeros and now we have your lsn number so combine these three parts together you will have your lsn number in decimal format so this is your lsn number take this lsn number and use this in stop before mark statement take that lsn number which we have converted into decimal format and put here and then restore your database or if you are not feeling comfortable with this decimal conversion hexadecimal to decimal conversion you can just take this lsn number from this output and paste here okay before that you have to use i mean you have to prefix this with lsn hyphen 0 into and then restore your database so i have to execute this but uh, to show you an error which we discussed before i am restoring this with no recovery okay because i have two more transactions that have to be restored okay so my database is in recovery state so as i have another log backup to restore where it contains two more records which is which are record 7 and 8 i am going to restore them and let me show you what error you will get because we are here we are aborting one deleted transaction you will have lsn mismatch if you try to restore this log to backup you can see here the log in this backup set begins at this lsn number which is too recent to apply the database 
as a, an earlier log backup that includes lsn can be restored so it clearly tells you you have an lsn mismatch so how do i restore the other two records which is record 7 and 8 for that first let me restore this database i mean here the database it is restored let me bring it online the database has come online now you verify the table records you can see you have your deleted record that has been restored but that other two records which are added after the delete transaction are not yet restored and if we try to restore the log backup we have seen there is an lsn mismatch right let's see how do we do that so this is my new database which is my temporary database these are the six records one to six records in the temporary database and in your original database you have records 1 to 8 with record 4 missing here you have to either get these two records to this temporary database or get this deleted record to the original database this you have to do at your own comfort because if there are many transactions in your temporary database it is better to copy the transactions from your current database to temporary database and then change the connection string or if you don't want to change the connection string that is pointing to your application you just take the deleted records and insert them into the original database so here i am going to insert this record into my original database so for that i have a small statement i mean a small t sql script this is my uh, script so first i am selecting those records that are present inside the original database okay these are the total seven records here my deleted record is absent and then i am going to select those records from the temporary table that are not present in this original database using where clause if i execute this i will get record 4 now my requirement is i will insert this record 4 into the original database so if you see my original database contents only record 4 is missing so if i insert that record from that temporary database that would be fine right so i am just inserting that deleted record into the original database and it is done now if you fetch the records inside your original database or original table you will have all the eight records including your deleted record okay you have all your records one two eight in this way i will be restoring the delete, uh, deleted record and and those records that are inserted after the delete operation so without restoring the log to backup i am able to get those two records and the deleted record okay if you have any questions on this please do comment below and i am happy to answer the questions i hope you have enjoyed this video that's all in this video we will meet in our next video That's all in this video. Thanks for watching the video. Please do like, share and subscribe for more videos.